Good morning, everybody. It is Minister Tom here. I'm going to talk about not being afraid to be who you are. The Bible says we are either Christians or Jews, and that we should never be afraid of who or what we are. Today's current events have made it difficult for us to recognize who we are, the current events of what's going on on college campuses, especially the anti-Semitism against the Jewish students, I find to be appalling. I don't know how you feel about it, but for me, as being a minister, I know that the Jews have been persecuted throughout the millennium. And this continues to go on and on and on today and is just uncalled for. As I have said before in other videos, the land in which Israel resides on was land given to it by God. And the decisions to make Israel into the state in which it is today was given to them by the British after the Second World War and then expanded due to other countries attacking them if it wasn't for their victories. Israel would not have the land it is. Understand this. Israel is about 13 miles wide. It doesn't take a fighter jet very long to get from one end of Israel out into the Mediterranean. Um, the country is less in length than the state of Rhode Island. It is not a very big territory, and it does have both secular and non-secular people living within it. It is the only democracy that resides in the Middle East that says something, although it is not a representative republic as we have here in the United States. It is a parliamentary democracy. And those are the same kind of democracies that are throughout Europe. So, friends, I say this. Israel has a right to exist. It's written in the Bible many, many different places, both in the Old and the New Testament. I support Israel, even though our president, who has decided to hold back $90 billion in aid, to Israel, I support giving that money to Israel. I do not believe that Israel truly needs our money. They have a great military industrial complex of its own because it is surrounded by enemies. But I do pray daily that wiser minds will prevail, peace will be made, and that all of those neighbors can live peacefully. If you're as old as I am, you know that that sometimes can be difficult. But I pray in today's day and age that that can be made possible. Once again, friends, this is Minister Tom, and I will see you soon.